Just up these stairs here is the literal groundwork that future avionic technician students will soon be working on. And one thing I always always tell my students and people that work for me is that, you know, if you make a mistake on a car, you break down on the side of the road. If you make a mistake on an airplane, you know, people's lives are at risk. Underneath the floor of the plane is a network of boxes and wires. And they are kind of the brains on what's behind the screens up here. Connecting the plane to the screen and to the pilots. We have no specific avionics education in this state or even in this general region. Avionics is the electronics portion of a plane. So what does that mean for the community? Well, with no hands fixing the brain behind those screens, planes that could be used for travel or wildfire suppression could take longer to fix. We have you know, the airport with lots of single engine planes, um, and so there is definitely, people need to be able to fix their planes. The two-year program will take students from the classroom to Bridger Aerospace to work on the planes and learn from industry professionals. For Justin, the call to avionics is more than just a career. I actually lost my home to a fire, and just the, the feeling of not being able to be at your house and not knowing if those personal belongings are there, what made it, what didn't make it. Leading him to a life helping suppress fires as an avionic technician and a teacher. You know, all the companies throughout Montana will be able to have a little bit of a talent pool in Montana instead of having to go out of state and bring people in. Starting in the fall, that first batch of future technicians will start their program. In Bozeman, Jane McDonald, MTN News.